Alright, hello everybody, and today we're going to be having a look at the surface area of a sphere using surfaces of revolution. So, I've already drawn up a quick picture here. So, this is a function y equals the square root of r squared minus x squared, where r is just some radius of this semicircle here. And the idea is to revolve this whole length here around the x axis so we can get um, the surface of a sphere out of it. So, to find this, we actually need the arc length formula, which which I've written up here. So this is the formula that we use to find uh, the arc length of any function on any continuous interval. And I derived this um, in a previous video. So how can we use this? Well, notice that, first of all, this part inside the integral here, this square root of whatever times dx, this is representing this little change in the width here. and we want to modify this so we can integrate this whole entire ring here because if we can integrate all of these rings up from this left end point to the right, we get the surface area of a sphere. So there are two things we need to consider. We need to consider this uh, little length here and we need to consider the, um, the distance away from the x-axis. So that's pretty easy so we know this little uh, length here is exactly this part and the distance away from the x-axis that's this whatever the function of x is at that point x so to get the whole entire you can say circumference we can just multiply f of x by 2 pi and once, once we do that what we get is the circumference of this whole thing and when we multiply by this little length here, we're going to get this small slither. So the area of this small slither. And we can integrate that from on our interval right here. So let's just write some things down. So we need 2 pi times f of x. So this will give us the circumference. And we need to multiply that by this little change in length here. So I'm going to write this part down. So 1 plus f prime of x, but squared times dx, and that should be a squared. Alright, so this is our expression for each of these little um, slithers here. So now we can just slap an integral sign on in the front, and we want to integrate all of these little slithers here from negative r to r. So this function here, y equals the square root of r squared minus x squared, um, that's just the semicircle, and the r is the um, the radius. So we're going from negative r to r. So just to recap, this part here, two pi times f f of x, that just gives us the circumference at any point x, and we, we're multiplying it by this part here, square root of one plus f prime of x squared dx. That will give us this more width here. So. We're all good now. So we can just substitute in our um, our function here. And uh, we can find the surface area of a sphere from that. So I'm just going to rub out this picture here because we don't need it anymore. So we're just going to use this formula here. So, so we have the integral from negative r to r. 2 pi. Now our f of x is the square root of r squared minus x squared. And this part here, we need the derivative of our function, and our derivative is, um, I'll just write it over here, um, f prime of x is equal to negative x on the square root of r squared minus x squared. And we want to square this, so f prime of x, but squared is equal to x squared over r squared minus x squared. Alright, so we can just substitute all this information in, so that's our f of x, and now we need a big square root, and we're going to have 1 plus, and this f prime of x squared is this, so we have x squared over r squared minus x squared, and uh, dx at the end. Alright, so now we can, all we need to do now is solve this integral. So let's see, we can get this on a common denominator, so this will just be um, integral from negative r to r, throw the 2 pi out the front, square root of r squared minus x squared, then we have big square root of r squared minus x squared 
over R squared minus X squared plus X squared over R squared minus X squared DX negative X and X squared cancel and we're going to be left with R squared over this denominator here and remember this whole thing is being square rooted so we have 2 pi times the integral from negative R to R square root of R squared minus X squared and on the top uh, because we have the square and the square root we're just going to get R over and this we're going to get the square root of R squared minus X squared and dx at the end and the good thing is bang bang uh, those two cancel and now we're just integrating r with respect to x and that's just a constant so I can just jump out the front so we have 2 pi r integral from negative r to r of dx and that's super easy to evaluate I'll just put it over here so that's is equal to 2 pi r and then that just turns into x when we integrate it from negative r to r plug in our bounds so we have r minus lower bounds that just becomes 2r so 2 pi r times 2r and that's just 4 pi r squared and that's the formula of the sphere as we were expecting so uh yep that's how you derive the formula for surface area of a sphere using surfaces of revolution